Today is the uh, Cellular Therapy Day on Biological Development, and I welcome you on this uh, uh, very exciting uh, uh, program. So during this uh, um, uh, morning, we will have uh, Professor Chiara Bonini from uh, uh, Sarafelle Hospital in uh, um, Milano and Professor Francesco Dazzi from uh, uh, King's College in London, uh, covering the main aspect of uh, um, engineering of uh, uh, T cell and uh, on uh, the use of mesenchymal stem cell for treating uh, uh, GBHD. In particular, uh, the technologies available today for uh, gene modification and gene editing of stem cell are uh, uh, changing and uh, are uh, um, uh, dramatically uh, offer a very important opportunity of treatment for patients in, in need. So the first uh, um, uh, important characteristics was uh, uh, by, by the use of uh, uh, CAR T cell, which could, could be uh, used uh, uh, through lentiviral um, uh, uh, strategy and also the uh, engineering of the uh, TCR uh, is uh, uh, a new technique able to uh, target the uh, T cell specific specificity of, uh, uh, of the cell and uh, act uh, as an anti-tumor uh, uh, agent. Uh, so there are uh, today different targets that could be addressed by the TCR engineering and uh, the WT1 is uh, uh, one of those and the Professor Bonini is clearly uh, showing uh, uh, very, very exciting results in uh, uh, animal um, uh, studies. Uh, also, an important technique is uh, the use of the CRISPR uh, uh, to introduce breaks to disrupt genes, and uh, uh, Professor Bonini also highlighted this in her, uh, uh, during her talk in the Cell Therapy Day. Professor Francesco Dazzi from uh, King's College Hospital in uh, London will uh, 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 overview the uh, main application of uh, uh, the use of mesenchymal stem cell to treat uh, uh, GBHD. The, uh, complication, which is a life treatment complication after uh, stem cell transplantation, allogenic stem cell transplantation. Importantly, uh, Professor Dazzi uh, showed the results of uh, an international survey that was conducted by uh, EBMT uh, on behalf of the uh, Cell Therapy and Immunobiology Working Party, showing how there is a huge uh, heterogeneity in uh, uh, the stem cell source use which could be uh, from adult or from uh, uh, core blood, and also the uh, different uh, uh, application of, uh, uh, of this uh, uh, um, cell therapy uh, for treating uh, the GBHD. Uh, importantly, and this uh, is really um, up to date, uh, Professor Dazzi will, will also uh, overview the, the possible application of uh, uh, mesenchymal stem cell in uh, COVID-19 uh, 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 inflammatory disease. And this is because the cytokine release syndrome, which is associated with COVID-19 pneumonia, seems to be... Uh, um, in some way uh, really uh, uh, similar to the other CRS we are used to see in uh, main complication of uh, uh, the cell therapy. So uh, there are uh, ongoing uh, international uh, trial assessing the use of uh, mesenchymal stem cell also in the setting of COVID-19 uh, pneumonia. Indeed, as Professor Dazzi highlighted, the uh, uh, issue of the safety of this new uh, uh, technique in uh, uh, such delicate uh, context need to be addressed by uh, uh, results of a clinical trial. So I recommend you to go through the uh, slides uh, from the Cell Therapy Day, which will are available on the EBMT platform. And please feel free to email us uh, if you have questions.